Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for you today. I am using my Mind the Scrap July kit. I'm guest designer this month, which is super exciting. Thanks so much to Emma for having me. And I am going to be joining in with the crop, which is later on in the month. So if you want to find out more about that, do head over to the Mind the Scrap Facebook group where you can join in. You don't have to have the kit to join in the challenges. So I will link below the shop and the Facebook group if you want to go and check them out. So for this layout, apologies by the way if you can hear traffic noises in the background. It is just way too hot for me to have the windows closed while I do my voiceover. So I'm sorry if you hear motorbikes flying past or anything like that. So moving on. Okay, so to begin with I am using some acrylic paints. These are ones by Prima. Um, I believe quite a few different people do these um, tubes of acrylic paint um, in these bright colours. Now I think there might be some by Jane Davenport, Dinah Wakeley, a few different people. And I've just chosen colours that match some of the colours that came in the kit. And there was a beautiful rainbow paper which was the inspiration behind this little bit of stenciling here. As you can see, all I did was um, use a spatula to smooth the paint down the page and I just clean off the spatula between each stroke down or so, so it doesn't mix the colours up too much, but I do let them blend slightly on the edges so that they do get slight ombre effect going on, but only a little subtle one. So this is my favourite paper and I just went straight for it because it's rainbow and I love it. And because I don't want to waste any paper, what I've done is just trimmed off um, two side panels to go with my rainbow script in the middle on the black cardstock, which also came in the kit. You can also get extra from the shop if you use a lot like I do. Now I'm just using a scrap of watercolour paper. I always trim down my from a big pad so I've always got loads of this left over to do paint testing or to just add to map my photos I always map my photos with black or white occasionally a colorful background just to help it pop off the page because quite often my layouts are super bright and the photo can sometimes get a bit lost so next up I've taken some tool which you can kind of get everywhere it's not expensive you can get like 25 meters for a couple of pounds depending where you get it from and all I'm doing is adding a little bit of each of the paint colors that I used before and adding some water and then just smushing it in there and making sure that each of the pieces of tool are completely covered in paint and then I just let them dry I have used this technique before just with um, the white tool just to add extra texture behind my layers but today I just thought let's see what happens when I do this and it actually worked out really cool it has a really brilliant effect and um, I also discovered that it actually leaves a really nice impression on paper where when I left it to dry I removed it from here and I put left it to dry on paper and it actually gave like a really fun impression on there as well so stay tuned I reckon I'm gonna do something interesting again with the tool because this might be the new bubble wrap for me I think so as you can see all I've done is smush 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 make sure all the pieces are coated and then I just let them dry so now as I peel them up as you can see they've taken on some of the color it shows up quite well on the black as I showed just then now that may, may seem quite random, all I've done there is taken um, a piece of cardstock, I've got lots of orange, I occasionally use orange but not that often so I'm going to use this just as a backing paper to make sure that my layout is nice and square to give it a bit of extra strength because of the mixed media that sometimes can warp your paper. This wasn't too bad to be fair because I didn't add a lot of water to my paint paint so it did stay fairly um, non warpy not a word never mind um, and I also decide I'm not keen on things being really sort of symmetrical so I decided to put that to one side and 
as quite ha often happens with 12 by 12s this it just it didn't seem to fit quite right so I just trimmed off like the tiniest little slither just to make sure that there was no orange poking out and now I'm going back to one of my old techniques I do this a lot on black backgrounds I'm using Heidi Swap Color Shine I've covered up the pattern paper so that I don't get any on there I really don't want that on the any splashes on the rainbow I wanted it nice and crisp and then I'm just using a yellow hot pink um, teal and white just to add a little bit more paintiness there and three of three of the four um, Heidi swaps were actually from past mine the scrap kits at some point or other and now I'm adding lots of foam and tape on the back of each layer of tool and just um, layering them up so every time I just add more and more tape I ended up using paper tape as opposed to my runner because it seemed to be sticking better but each layer needs extra tape because I think if liquid glue I think it might have ended up smushing out the sides and getting really messy so and then I do add extra tape to the back to help it pop off the page finally as well I do a double layer of that and then I'm just having a think where to put that. The pockets that came in the kit, those clear pockets are so cool. They look really good on a black background. So I'm definitely gonna use that. I did think about using one of the vellums and putting them inside and I was gonna put some journaling inside, but then I decided, no, I'm gonna use more rainbow paper. So I've basically made like a little journaling card just by trimming it down. And then I've also got out the washi strips or journaling strips, I can't remember what they're called exactly, that came in the mixed media kit I think these were from. And they just had the most perfect phrases on that went so well with the picture which is of my little boy making a mess painting on holiday in like a toddler's messy play kind of um, afternoon. And so I've just decorated that little card there because I know because it's see-through the all the decoration will pop through and just become part of the clusters that are on top and now I decided to, I did have that great um, thing written across the top of the photo I changed my mind and used these tiny word stickers because again the words on them were just really appropriate for my picture and I thought they just looked nicer so I've just added a few in there and now I'm using my paint over pen. This is one of the pens that came in a previous kit that um, in the Facebook group was mentioned as how you use it. I mean, there are probably lots of other uses. I'll try and think of other things, but for now it definitely works really well for doing a little squiggly border. I do go over it twice. And as you can see the second time it builds up the color. So maybe a third time might have been even more um, of a stark white but I'm not sure I only did it twice but um, there's quite there's quite a lot of wiggly lines on the on the little washi strips the journaling strips so I thought that mimicked that really nicely and it just gave a little nice border to it I've added one of the um, pieces of ephemera to the back of my card I'm just sticking that down and that's where my journaling will go and I just write a few words about where we were what year it was etc on the back of there and I think that's about all I do oh and I, I just add a little bit of washi to the top of that tag just so I can pull it out of the pocket oh and this is the other the um, roll of washi that came in the kit as well which also looks really good on black and I did add a little bit to the bottom, a little bit to the top. And this little machine just creates stickers. So I just put my um, pocket through there. So it just applies an even layer of adhesive to the back of that pocket. It works really well for vellum pieces as well. So you don't have to worry about where the adhesive is. It just leaves a nice even layer. So I've just added that to the back. And then I've got those um, little enamel arrows in black and white there so I've just added that one back on top popping my journal little journal card in there with a bit of washi to pull it back out adding in that extra little black circle I think I'm pretty much done 
so yeah that is it done thanks for joining me today please like and subscribe if you're not already doing so and you'd like to see more from me there'll be lots more videos coming this month and do check out the mind the scrap kits and the facebook group where you can join in all the challenges that we do we have lots of fun over there and have a great day bye